G'day, how's it going? Look what I scored. 20 Transformers. Um, Ballas, you can call them too. They're, well, look, let's be honest, they're orig originally for growing hydro. We all know that. Uh, uh, you're going to think I grow hydro now, but I don't. I was street scrapping. I hit a few areas that I know of, market gardeners, industrial areas that um, people just dump rubbish. And I found this stash on the side of the road. Uh, it's 20 ballasts, ranging from 400 watt right up to 1,000 watt. And I know I've always said uh, sell first, because it's probably worth more, and that is true. But in this case, obviously, there's a bit of a moral dilemma. Uh, marijuana and growing is illegal, here in South Australia at least. So um, don't really want to sell it. That, on top of that also, um, they were left out in the rain, and it rained hard, so I can't guarantee that uh, these ballasts work. The last thing I would want to do is sell them, someone use them, and their crop goes up in flames. Obviously, they're going to be very upset, and they're going to come see me about it, so I'll scrap these down and see what they're worth. I have a feeling that uh, there's uh, just wound motors in there. Uh, I have pulled one apart and it was all alloy uh, wound motor so not really worth pulling apart but I'm going to check out a few others because there's different brands in there, uh, different sizes hopefully the 1000 watt ones have uh, copper wound motors I'll be able to pull them apart if not, if they're alloy well then uh, I'll just partly scrap them and sell them as motors alright let's get stuck into it, cheers All right, let's check out the starting weight of some of these transformers. Start with a 400 watt. Six point three kilograms. Six hundred watt. Six hundred watt, eight point one kilograms. Thousand watts. Oh, it's got a bit of weight behind it. Thirteen point four kilograms for the thousand watts. All right, let's check what is in it. Obviously, we start with uh, just cutting off the cord. Add that to the pile of PVC wire. Whole heap of screws. Get these off. So what's that? Eight screws. I even keep the screws, throw them in the scrap of steel. Gone. Don't need this. Alright. So that's the wound motor. Wow, well, we got three. Three capacitors in here too, so be careful guys. See these? Just short them out. You never know. Don't mess around with electricity, eh? So we want to get this motor out. We're dealing with a 600 volt transformer. 
slash uh, ballast. All right, let's get the magnet out. That's steel, as you would expect. Get all this rubbish out the way. So you've got four rivets holding this one in. So I might just uh, grab the grinder. And take them out. That's harder than it should have been. I've got the diamond blade on instead of the metal cutting blade. So anyway, I've got to, got it ground down so that should just pop straight out. Got my baby toy screwdriver. I don't know if this is gonna do much. No. Here we have it. It's still, you can see it's bent and clamped into the actual motor itself. Plastic surrounds over it too. Hammer should fix that. Alright. There you have it. So there's the windings. Of course, it's covered in lacquer, so I'm not going to get uh, number one copper for it, but probably going to be worth pulling apart. All right, let's do it. All right, before I uh, strip this down, I'll just see how much it weighs. 6.4 kilograms. It's going to come up backwards, isn't it? Anyway. Trust me, 6.4 kilograms, so that's not too bad out of a motor. I'll strip it down and see what do we get copper for it. All right, first things first, we've got to take off these steel plates. Uh, they're relatively easy to do. See these lines that are running down? Just get your grinder with a cutting disc and just cut through there. Probably a little bit of uh, glue and uh, lacquer sticking them together, and they should just come apart. Right. Right, 
by getting a screwdriver in there. Make sure it's not hot. Few knocks. Is if you just knock them out. There you go. camera. That, my friends, is magnetic. Only steel. That's all right. We'll put that aside for now. Last bit of steel off. All right, I reckon that center part goes through and comes out onto this edge part. So if we punch that center part out, the whole lot should come out. See it starting to work. All starting to come out. If we get the screw going. Nearly there. There it goes. Awesome. It's all out. Let's get this plastic coating off. Then we're just left with the co copper windings. I just said copper windings. Copper windings. There you have it. That was pretty easy. So that's all just solid copper there. Here is our file. And there you are. Copper all the way through. So that's awesome. All right, so I've finished scrapping the 400 watt, 600 and 1000 watt transformer ballast. Uh, so I'll, I'll have to get new scales. My scales are broken, so I'll get new scales, I'll weigh them up, but in the meantime I'm going to start stripping all these down and see what I get for the lot and I'll weigh them up as well and let you know. 
So you can see here that uh, these are the alloy motors that I stripped out. We're looking there at uh, seven alloy motors. So it's seven alloy motors and 13 copper motors. So let's just have a quick weigh up of these. Probably one of the bigger alloy motors. Twelve pounds or five point five kilograms. Electric motors are currently paying sixty cents per kilogram. So five kilograms at sixty cents is three dollars. So a bit over three dollars for that motor. This is a part of the motor just that I've pulled apart. That's just alloy. That's weighing in at one kilograms pretty much uh, sorry one pound or half a kilogram uh, alloy the dirty alloy is paying a dollar a kilo so that there is worth 50 cents so definitely worth um, just keeping them as a motor not stripping them down all right move along these are our stripped down ballasts Let's look at one of the 1000 watt ballasts. Strip down, see how much it weighs, get a rough idea of how much it's gonna pay and whether or not it's actually worth the time and effort to strip it down. Starting off with just the scrap steel. Get as much in as I can. One shot. Oh look, that's one kilo. More to come, obviously. So that's pretty much 10 kilos on the money. Plus that one kilo, 11 kilos all up. So 11 kilos of scrap steel. That's just light steel. And that at the moment is paying 100 per ton. $100 per ton. All right, PVC cable. 20 grams. There's a little extra of cabling that goes in between the capacitor and the motor, but that's just minimal as well. So let's just say 25 grams all up. A little bit of brass in the plugs. Not really worth counting, but uh, I'll get to that later. But this is what uh, the real money is. The copper. The copper windings from the motor. Had over two kilograms there. So we're looking there. Paying a price for number one copper is currently paying, shall I say, number two copper is currently paying $6.60 per kilogram. So just in that copper alone, we're looking at around $13.20. So uh, that's pretty good. So if you were to take in the ballast unscrapped, and just take it in as is. You're looking at 60 cents per kilogram for an electric motor. Um, so it was what, 15 kilograms all up for the 1,000 water times 60 cents, $9. Take it in separately, you're gonna get considerably more. So definitely worth scrapping. And hey, look, I had fun doing it as well. And uh, that's probably worth more than the money itself. Just uh, having the therapeutic time and energy to sit down or stand up, scrap out a few things, watch some sport in the background or uh, something on Netflix and just get stuck into it. This is what I got from all those ballasts. That's all the good stuff, all the copper. Obviously it's dirty. 
and it's varnished. So it goes down as number two copper. But that's still worth $6.60 a kilo. I've got there 14 and a half kilos. So uh, that's going to come up at $95.70. It's not bad, $95.70 for um, just rubbish someone dumped on the side of the road. All right, uh, plus we got those, what was it, seven motors, 60 cents a kilo, bit of scrap, bit of PVC. So all up, I've scored a bit over $100. I'm going to estimate about 110 to $120 for those 20 ballasts. Not bad for a few hours' work. So, um, yeah, definitely worth stripping and uh, selling the items separately. I'll add to the comments a current price list as of the 28th of May, and you can see for yourself what the um, scrap prices are in Adelaide at the moment. And I'll give you a bit of a rough idea of what uh, we get here in Australia. Okay, cheers. I had fun pulling apart these ballasts finding out what's inside, how much it's worth, and um, enjoyed making the video too. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, press that like button, uh, notifications, share. Don't know. So in my shed here, I've got more things I want to scrap. I've got one of those wall air conditioners. I've got one of those old box televisions, dishwashers, fridges, you name it. I've got to scrap it. And also there's other items that I need to restore and I'll give you handy hints on how to do that. And of course, I've still got other side hustles that I need to get stuck into as well. It is coming up to winter time, so I'm limited, I suppose, in daylight hours. But uh, I prefer to do things at night time anyway. All right. So uh, till next time, I'll catch you. Cheers for watching. Bye.